So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve the problem, make the array beautiful. Given an array of positive and negative integers, you have to make the array beautiful. And an array is beautiful if two adjacent integers, array i and array i plus one have same size, same sign. So you can do the following operation any number of time until the array becomes beautiful. If two adjacent integers have different sign, remove them, return the beautiful array after performing the above operation. So let's understand the question. So basically what we want, we want to make the array beautiful and it can only be achieved by uh, removing consecutive pairs which have opposite sign, positive negative or negative positive. Okay, so this is the question. So that means I want to remove the positive negative pair. So at the end result, we have only positives. Okay, or we have only negatives. Okay, so that is the question and or we can remain with the empty also. Okay, now one thing that you have to know. One thing that if you know while running the example test case, I will tell you. Okay. Now let's say 4 and 3. They are also right. Now 2 and minus 2. Yes, they are opposite sign. Remove them. 4, 3, minus 1, 5. Now 3 and minus 1 are opposite. So you can see that minus 1 and 5 are also opposite. So I should remove them. No. They have already said in the question what? That we have to move from left to right while removing the elements. So we will say that while coming from left to right, we can see 3 and minus 1 are the first one to be the consecutive pairs having different sign. So we'll say yes, yes, remove them. Now it will be 4 and 5. Now, now what is the intuition behind this question? Intuition behind this question is like what we are doing, we are dynamically removing the elements and next time this minus 1 will compare with 3. Now this minus 1 will come closer to 3. Okay, so how can I do that that minus 1 should come closer this between element should go. So in such things, we use stack. Okay. Why? Like in the stack, I will add 4. I will add 3. Now I will come with minus 1. Now minus 1 when come, he can compare with itself and will remove also. So next time 5 will compare with the 4. Okay. So this is the intuition. So let's dry run the approach to better understand the question. Okay. Now 4 comes added because stack is already empty. We can't compare with anyone. Now 3 comes. So 3 is also added. So before adding the 3, we will first check. Is 3 and 4 a different sign? No. Okay. So let's add it. Now 2. 2 and 3 are a different sign? No. Add it. Add it. Minus 2. Before entry minus 2, check. Are they opposite sign? Yes. That means 2 and minus 2 should be removed. So what we will do? We will say okay. Minus 2. You should not come inside and take this 2 and go ahead. Okay. So minus 2 has snatched this 2. These are positive negative pairs. Snatched. Now next time minus 1 comes. So we will say this is positive. This is negative. So minus 1 will snatch this 3 outside. So what we will do? 3 will come outside. Now we come, we come to 5. So 5. 5 will say okay. Inside is 4. He is of same sign. He is of same sign according to me. So he will add is as it is. Now this is the answer. We have to store in vector array. So what we will do? While removing from the stack, first 5 will come, next 4 will come. We get the reverse answer. So to get the correct answer, what we do, we will reverse the array. Let's say this is the array. We will reverse and on reversing the array, this will be 4 and 5. Okay. So this is all about the question. Now, one more thing that I want to tell you before going to the question. Let's say I have 0. 0. And let's say I have 4. So both have positive sign. So both will be considered same. Let's say I have 0 and let's say I have 0. Both have positive sign. Both will be considered same. Let's say I have 0 and let's say I have 4. Minus 4. So they are different. So 0 now again and again. And let's say I have minus 4 and let's say I have 0. So, and so initially I have minus 4 and next time I have 0. These are also uh, different pairs. So we will remove them obviously. So 0 is considered the positive element, not the negative element, according to the question. That's thing that I want to tell you. So let's code up the approach. Now, initially what we will do, we will maintain a stack. Okay. Now, within the stack, what I will do, I will traverse the array. And every time, first I will check whether single element exists for comparing. No. So if it doesn't exist, just push the element as it is. Okay. Otherwise, Otherwise, I will check if st top greater than is equal to 0. That means if first I have positive element, 
ओके एंड नेक्स्ट कमिंग एलिमेंट इज नेगेटिव एलिमेंट इफ इट इज जस्ट पॉप आउट द एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट अदर केस इफ द टॉप एलिमेंट इज लेस देन जीरो दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू केसेस ना लाइक इन साइड वी हैव पॉजिटिव एंड कमिंग इज नेगेटिव और इन साइड वी हैव नेगेटिव कमिंग इज पॉजिटिव सो जस्ट रिमूव दिस पॉजिटिव आउट remove this negative out okay so what we are what we are doing in both cases in both cases we are popping out the element and as i already said zero is considered as positive element now else else if this case doesn't happen like as i already said like if we have four and four comes they both are of same sign just add it as it is okay now if we have let's say minus 4 and let's say i come with minus 5 so i will add it as it is obviously because they are same now just we have done stack is filled now after that we have some remaining elements so what i will do i will create a vector answer where we store the element so while the stack will become empty what i will do answer dot push back what stack top whatever the element i am remove it from the stack okay now add then reverse answer begin because Stack will give the reverse answer. We have to reverse the answer array and return the answer array as it is. Let's compile it in the code and check whether it's working fine. Yes. So let's submit the code. So yes, it's totally working fine. So the basic thing, extra thing that you need to know. That's why I took a long submission that. positive element zero is considered a positive element okay so this was all about code so if you like the explanation please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day